I have these 20 watt 150 ohm resistors left over from another project and I figure it's time to put them to use. Coincidentally, three 150 ohm resistors wired in parallel will provide 50 ohm of resistance which is perfect for a simple desktop dummy load. I found this metal switch box and I think this is going to be perfect for this project. I also have some rivets and a PL259 connector. I start by drilling out the required holes at the end of the box. I then take the PL259 and rivet it into place. At the other end of the box, I put a single bolt with two nuts to hold the terminating wire into place. I'll also be using eight of these aluminum spacers, four random bolts, four nuts, and that small piece of sheet metal. So here's how this part goes together. This will be the bottom legs, and then on the inside is going together like this. The legs and spacers are actually designed to act as a heat sink and they're not there for looks. I swapped out the other nuts for these and I'm not sure if you can see the spacers underneath the metal from this angle. The plan is to line up the resistors, one on top of these nuts, one down the middle, and one down the other side. No, it's not pretty but all the resistors are soldered into place and I have measured continuity. Things are looking good. So let's test the resistance. And as you can see, dead nut right on 50 ohms. I'll call that a win. Let's check from two more points. Spot on. I'm happy with that. Then it's just a matter of putting the top back on the box, closing it up, and we're all done. I think you can probably see why I call this thing the silver pig. And that's it. I hope this video gave you some ideas of how you can make a cheap and easy dummy load of your own. If it did, how about you show me some of that thumbs up love, and maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe. Or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.